In this video, I will show you how to find the most or the direction of the most rapid increase of a function. We will use the concept of a gradient. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. How you doing? All right. So this is what we have. We're given a function, and say the function we will use is the following: f of x y and say it's given by x squared plus xy plus y squared and the point here is the following negative 1 comma 1 and what we want to do is find the direction of most rapid increase or decrease just the direction not the rate but just the direction which means what we will have to do is the key step is to recognize that that direction is the gradient divided by its magnitude. So let's take a look at the procedure here. First you have to form the gradient. So let me switch to this. Okay, so the gradient as a function of x and y. Remember this is a vector in the xy plane. will be given by the following. Differentiate with respect to x. The derivative of this function is the following. Remember, when you vary x, it's like holding y constant, it doesn't vary. So it's like a number, like 5 or 10. We have 2x plus y. Okay? And then this becomes the i component of the gradient. Then we have, to add to it, the j component of the gradient, which means x squared with respect to j doesn't vary. With respect to y, it may not x times y, with respect to, you know, this derivative here, here, with respect to y is just x, so you write x. With respect to y, this derivative is 2y. And then this is the j component, like this. And so once this is in place, what you have next is the following. You will take this, evaluate it at the point negative 1, comma 1, so the gradient of f evaluated at negative 1 comma 1 is, and now you make the replacements for x and y, 2 times 1 plus 1i plus 1 plus 2 times 1j. Simplify. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is 3i plus 1 plus 2 is 3. So this is 3j. So the gradient of our function evaluated at the point negative 1 comma 1, and you see he's still smiling, so just keep smiling, keep going, is 3i plus 3j. Once we have this, what we want to do is turn it into a unit vector, because we care only about the direction of most rapid increase or decrease. So we define u to be the gradient of f, divided by its magnitude. So those are the symbols, and what we have is 3i plus 3j, and now what we have, need to find is the length of this vector. So the way to do that is to apply the Pythagorean theorem. So the length of the gradient at the point negative 1 comma 1 is 3 squared plus 3 squared. So that gives 9 plus 9, which can be written as 2 times 9. Remember, multiplication is repeated, addition of like things. Now we apply the basic property of square roots. So you can distribute this over as the root of 2 times the root of 9. And then what we have is 3 times the root of 2. So 3 times the root of 2 is the length of the gradient. So we divide this entire gradient by 3 times the root of 2. With this in place, let's simplify. Break this into separate pieces as 3i over 3 times the root of 2 plus 3j over 3 times the root of 2. Cancel the 3's. So you have 1 over the root of 2i 
plus cancel those threes, you have j over the root of 2, or 1j over the root of 2, however you choose to express it. Um, okay, so this is the direction of most rapid increase or decrease in the values of the function, okay? And I made the mistake of using the point one one instead of negative one one. So just imagine, just change everything to a plus one. But other than that, it's all correct. So this is the direction of most rapid increase or decrease. Well, increase in this case. If you want the direction of most rapid decrease, you have to form the negative of this quantity. Okay, so this is the direction of most rapid increase. And then the negative of this is the direction of most rapid decrease. Okay? This guy's got to lean back. He's like, man, that looks pretty menacing. <laughs> but it's all right. It's still fairly mechanical, right? If function, evaluate, you know, form the gradient, evaluate the gradient at a point, divide the gradient by its magnitude using the, you know, the magnitude is found using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so that gives you this output here. That is the direction of most rapid increase. And now the direction of most rapid decrease, which I will indicate by writing an arrow down, that is given by the negative of this. So multiply everything by negative on the outside, and that is it. That is the entire procedure. And for those of you who are visual, it might be helpful to know that what we are doing here is the following. And this part is not essential, but some people like to see a graph for extra insight. So this is our xy coordinate space, the xy plane. Okay, we can mark the point 1, 1. Remember, I used the point 1, 1. Originally, I wrote negative 1, 1, but I ended up using 1, 1, okay? So let's see. That's the point 1, 1. The gradient at that point we found to be 3i plus 3j. So that is roughly a vector that looks like this. That's the gradient at the point. Then by dividing the gradient by its magnitude, we made a unit vector in the same direction. So you can imagine a vector that falls parallel to it, okay, in the same direction, like that, okay? And then this is this quantity right here. Okay, that is the direction of most rapid increase, and guess what? The direction of most rapid decrease is the same thing, but it's turned and it points the other way. Okay, so this bright green one that I've drawn here, okay, that is this one here, okay, and that's it. So that is the entire procedure. It's quite elaborate, but still fairly mechanical. As long as you repeat this a few times, you should know it. So thank you for watching. Keep smiling and just stay persistent.